Hello everyone. Today in this video we are going to take a look at developing Java applications, Java microservices locally from a developer perspective and building and deploying those into Kubernetes. What we are going to look at and target is how developers do things today and how that might look like when building for cloud platform like Kubernetes. Typically in traditional developers are creating their applications, their wars are and putting them inside application servers. But in today's microservice era, we are directly creating Uber jars and we are running them directly. We are not putting them inside application servers. But this is only the first half of the story. The second half of the story is what kind of JVM we are running our application on, what operating system our JVM is running on, what are the transitive dependencies of our JVM and so on. So all of that stuff can be packaged as a Docker container and we can take our JVM, we can take our application and the operating system and we can package all of that as a Docker image and we can hide it as an implementation detail. So what we're going to do is we are going to take a binary snapshot of our system and we are going to deploy it to Kubernetes which is a very popular cloud platform. But moving to Kubernetes is not very smooth and it requires some additional workloads like writing manifests, writing docker files etc and it can it's not possible to maintain the same uh, Java, traditional Java developer workflow. So today we'll be looking at one of the projects called Eclipse JCube and how it tries to simplify all these additional workloads and it, it maintains the same old traditional Java experience while moving you to the cloud platforms. So let's jump to the demo and for demo I'll be going to my browser have the spring initializer here and I'll be generating a maven project with uh, a spring web uh, dependency additional dependency with me so I'll be generating it okay all right so I'll be going back to my terminal and I'll just quickly unzip it all right so let me go inside demo project and I'll let me do a compilation okay so let me quickly open it open it up in my ID and see let's, all right so it looks like it's loaded so let's see what's inside there's this package called com.example.demo and there is this class demo application which is seems to be the driver class of this application so we need to add some uh, rest controller uh, let's add our own rest controller here so we'll call it demo endpoint all right so it's going to be a rest controller and for that we in that we are going to have a simple get mapping of uh, a simple response uh, hello we're going to have a get mapping of hello which would produce application json okay public dummy response hello and it's going to return a dummy response of a greeting let's say hello Alright, let me just go ahead and create that model class also for the response. Dummy response. It would be a string. And I'll be add a constructor also. Alright. Let me add getters and setters for this as well. Uh, generate getter and setter. Okay. Alright, looks like we are set. Let's try to run this and see whether it's working or not. So let me uh, go ahead and do mvn spring boot colon run.
okay let's try to call our application uh, let me go to my browser and to localhost 8080 hello all right so looks like we are getting uh, the results uh, as expected so now we have this application but we want to deploy it to kubernetes we want to build a docker image and we don't have any experience with docker or kubernetes i mean, I mean we do know what they are but we don't have very good expertise so what i'll do is i'll add a dependency to a form.xml so i'll just go ahead and add a plugin called uh, eclipse jq so i have added the plugin for kubernetes maven plugin which is going to handle all of the tasks related to building docker image generating manifest everything so let me go back to my terminal and let's just uh, see whether our pin cube is running or not so let me check this stop let me try to start it all right so looks like our mini cube has started so i'll just go ahead and check it's using get pods it's feature plus 24 everything seems to be running fine so i'll, I'll have to build a docker image for my application so for that i'll first expose mini cubes docker daemon mini cube docker env i'll just do this all right so let me check all right so it looks like we are using minikube's docker daemon now so in order to build the docker image i'll just do uh mvn is built it's going to build a default opinionated docker image for me so it's going to so it has triggered the kubernetes main plugin and it's used this as the base image that's jcube's default which can obviously be configured so it's going to download the image first and uh, it's going to use this as a base image for our application so let me check our docker images okay looks like this image was built a few seconds ago all right as you can see it here so we have built the docker image now we want to push it to some registry so in order to push it we need to have the image name as per in the format of the registry requirements for example here you know, the first thing should be the username and second thing should be the name of the regist registry image so i'll just configure this by adding a property inside my form.xml I'll just say that there's a property called jq.generator.name and I'll say my application's username would be my, my git docker hub username and the application's uh, let's say artifact id project.artifact id and then the project version all right so let me go ahead and let me do and we'll get this build again okay so looks like uh, our image has been built all right so in order to push the image you need to provide for example right now i'm going to push to docker hub so in order to push the image you need to provide the credentials either in your maven settings or inside the plugin configuration you can provide it in the plugin configuration section as well uh, i mean right here in the configuration section and you can also do the uh, the traditional docker login and it's going to uh, just use the credentials that are provided in the docker dash configuration so i'll just go ahead and i'll do and we'll get dash push and it's going to push to my docker hub 
so as you can see it's pushing to my docker hub account with the artifact id set to demo all right so it looks let me just verify whether the image has been pushed or not so this is my docker hub and yep looks like the image was pushed so our image is generated and it's also pushed to the registry so now we only have to worry about writing the kubernetes manifest and uh, jcube also allows us to do that for us so that the goal is and we'll get this resource and the resource goal is going to generate all of the manifests for us automatically based on some opinionated defaults as you can see it generated our default deployment and the default service for us so let me go back to my id to show what things it has generated so i'll go to target folder classes meta ins jq kubernetes and you can see there are two things inside kubernetes first is the demo deployment which is a default opinionated deployment which can obviously be configured by a rich xml configuration and we can provide it through the resource fragment mode as well but we'll look into that in later videos so for now you can see it generated a default deployment of service for you so i'll go back to my terminal again as you can see here transit materials these are the resources generated and now i want to apply those resources onto kubernetes cluster so let me go ahead and then we to and we create a supply so let's check okay my pod is running already so let me check the service so it's a service of type cluster IP so we'll need to SSH inside the Kubernetes cluster and we'll try to curl it from within the cluster itself hello Alright, looks like our application is running, so I'll just exit my this link. And uh, so the default service generator is of type cluster IP, so we'll configure JQ by adding a property that we want a service of type notebook. So I'll go back to my ID and I'll just add another property called JQ dot enricher dot JQ dash service dot type, and I'll set it to notebook. So after this, I'll generate the resources again, doing a WinKTS resource. And I'll apply them again. Let me check the service again. Let me check my ports also. And since the service is of type node port now, so we can access it from outside the Minikube cluster also. So I'll access it using the minkube ip colon port that's provided 30695 slash hello all right so our application is running now and we can access it from outside as well so so far we have built and deployed our application so jcube also provides some helpful utilities like mvn creators log it can show logs of your application which is running inside kubernetes so apart from that you can also debug your application which is inside kubernetes from your id so for that you just need to do mvn creators debug all right so it has port forwarded to 5005 so i'll go back to my id and i'll add the debug configuration here uh, remote configuration port 5005 and i'll say Kubernetes debug okay I'll say apply okay and let me try to connect this and see if we get connect it gets connected or not it says it's connected so let's try to hit something let's try to set a breakpoint somewhere let's set it here and let's try to hit the application hello okay so upon hitting that endpoint we are here and from here we can probably debug 
and or whatever the control and once you are done with everything you can your application is running you can simply clean everything up as well so for that I will, there is a call called ambient create and deploy it's going to delete everything that was created during the apply phase okay you can see it's in terminating state and everything seems to be deleted also so uh, I hope I have given you a brief overview of JQ uh, reach out to us in case you have any queries we are available on github we can submit issues there you can also follow our Twitter channel in case of all the important announcements if you want to stay tuned to that we also have a github channel in case you want to come up and chat with us and with your queries and we also have a website called eclipse.org slash jq so this concludes the demo guys thanks a lot for watching